Welcome everyone to a special episode of Smarticus. We're calling this uh, Smarticus uh, Fast Attack. Uh, we don't have everyone here, but we've got enough people in order to bring you just a mini episode. And as you can see, I've decided to kick Josh out of his uh, uh, room so that I can actually use it. So now you can see his guitars in the background there. Uh, so for those of you who don't know who I am, my name's Daz, I'm in Canberra, and I'm joined here today with the wonderful Keenan, as well as a fan of our trivia, um, and also a player up in the southeast Queensland area, Glennis. Hi, Hi. there. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> now the rules here are pretty well going to be the same as before, except that um, there's only going to be the three of us playing, so it's going to be just a little bit harder to think of a question that one of the other two are going to get right and not both. <laughs> Because if both people get the question right, the person who asks it gets no points. Oh. Uh, so you've got a choice of getting one or zero points in every round. Except for the first round, which is actually going to be a viewer question from uh, someone that you'll see very soon. But before we do that, let's get started. Okay, so like I said to you before, my name's Daz, I'm here in Canberra. Now, Canberra is actually starting to get warm up again, except for when it's not. They have about five different winters here in Canberra. I'm not quite sure what that's all about. But here is my question. What do they call coriander in America? There we go. What do they call coriander in America? Oh, I'm the timekeeper now. Aren't oh I? yes. Oh yeah. Now that he's now that yeah, I, that's why I got dressed up. I'm officially the timekeeper now. So our, uh, time starts now. <laughs> Twenty seconds. <laughs> yes, Keenan being his wonderful efficient self. Bring it. Fifteen seconds. Two seconds to go, and time is up. <laughs> Wonderful timekeeping there. From, uh, I know I'm trying to type and do that at the same time. Oh. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, so we're going to have to do Well, how about you give us your answer first, um, and we go with that. All right. So coriander. Uh, why isn't that flipping around? Uh, oh, because it's on longer. Coriander, um, what are they call it in America? I don't know. I just think it's something that I don't eat either, but it's uh, stuff that food eats. <laughs> stuff that food eats. Right, <laughs> stuff that food eats. Yeah, right. like, you know, the, the stuff that normal people eat, that they eat that stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, well, I'm banking on you then, Gladys, for us both uh, to get points here. What do you think? All of right, well, America can be weird sometimes, so I have just caught up. Cory. Cory. <laughs> right. Of course you would put up Cory. Yeah, great. Well, um, yeah, no. Okay, no. so the correct answer for that is cilantro. You've oh, probably seen it no. in recipes before, but that's actually what they call coriander in the US. I mean, they do things strange there, I guess. Mm, <laughs> yes, weird. But speaking of weird and the US, I now have my friend who is from the US, um, who has submitted to us a viewer question. And that should be coming onto your screen about now. Hey Smarticus, thanks for taking my question. My name is Paul, I'm calling from Seattle, Washington in the United States. Here's my question. What American beverage can only be produced in the United States? So there's the question now, and I'll just repeat it for you there. What beverage can only be made in the United States? You've got 20 seconds from now. Now. I think I know this one. Uh, okay. Oh, I better write an answer too. Uh, 10 seconds to go. Four seconds, three seconds. Two seconds. One second. Time is up. <laughs> All right. Well, if, since you seem to know the answer, how about you uh, 
you you start us off there. Oh, I just said I think I know it. I didn't really know. <laughs> oh, right, right, okay. <laughs> well, if you yeah, I'm just going for something that's very uh, very close to my heart. Yeah. And for those people who know me, uh, little Jack Daniels is what I like to have. Oh, Jack and Daniels. Yeah, oh, because to, it's only made in a certain way. I was watching a special on this, and there's only a few ways. There's only one way you can make a Tennessee whiskey. Uh, so I think that's, that's the only one. Mm. Right. Yes. Okay. Well, what did you have down, Glennis? Well, I had the obvious of Coca-Cola. Okay. So <laughs> I can understand where your thought process is, is of that. And, and, you know, the factory that they have, you know, in Sydney and in Melbourne with, for Coke actually doesn't mm. make Coca-Cola at all. It's, it's just a <laughs> – they, they actually make the other type of Coke, maybe. I don't know. Yes. But, uh, <laughs> it's right. an answer that I can come up with. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, for me, I actually put the answer uh, very similar to what Keenan has. And that is, a oh, high person that is watching you there, Glass. Um, yes. I put, oh, there we go. Bourbon. Oh, bourbon. Bourbon. All righty. So let's have a listen to what the answer is. And the answer is... Bourbon. Yeah. So the answer is bourbon. So that's that means, good. I reckon that's close enough for you, Keenan. I mean, you know, Jack Daniels is a is a bourbon whiskey, isn't it? Not to take away points for myself, but it's technically a Tennessee whiskey. Mm. Uh, so, uh, well, I'll, actually, you know what? You stole a point off me from two weeks ago because I didn't update a stupid Olympic question. So, uh, <laughs> no, 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 I'm taking it. I'm taking it. You take it. You take it, Keenan. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, speaking of taking it then, Keenan, how about you give us the next question? Oh, okay, take it, I'm going to get it. All right, so this is a, uh, so, uh, uh, well, I'm, uh, for those of you who don't know me already, I'm Keenan. I like to say the word, um, a lot, so there goes a ding. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's uh, as I was thinking about it, coriander, um, cori and, and, uh, uh, so that's fine. I should start having that. Anyway, my question is to you all, to you two, uh, what amusement park has sites in Belund, Denmark, Windsor, England, and Gunsberg, Germany, to name a few. So, which, so what amusement park has sites in Belund, Denmark, Windsor, England, and Gunsberg, Germany, just to name a few? There are other ones, but... Uh, yeah, amusement yeah. park. Amusement park. If it's in England, wouldn't it be We Are Not Amusement Park? <laughs> Five seconds to go. Two seconds, one second, and time is up. All right, pencils down, hands on heads. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh, who should I start with? Uh, this is like having a 50-50, a true or false. <laughs> <laughs> We'll start with our uh, with our wonderful guest, Glennis. We'll see. Let's uh, you know which amusement park we're talking about here. Oh well, I'm thinking Denmark, which has got a lot of Lego. So Lego World, mm -hmm. if that is an amusement park. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's uh, definitely a place where Lego was born. But yeah, yeah that's correct. Well, okay. Uh, well, for me, once I work out how to do the thing. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Josh, you show me. All right. So I I was along the same lines. I thought, great day, and went with Legoless Land. And I drew Lego my paper. <laughs> Press out bourbon because I'm using the same bit of paper. But yeah. Um, so Lego Land is what I was going with, or Lego World, I guess it's the same idea. Mm -hmm. so, well, both, uh... so either we both get a point and you don't, or yes. none of us do. Which way is it? <laughs> Now I feel, I, I know what you feel like, Daz, when you ask me all those questions in the first round of uh, episodes two, three, four, and five, with no points because you are both correct with Lego. <laughs> wow, that means uh, we're pretty well going greatly on the scores. Uh, yeah. Well, we are. I don't know. Yeah, well. I'll work it out in post. Um, but... Uh, last but definitely not least by a long shot 
let's have our wonderful uh, fan player, Glennis, give her a question. Tell okay. us about yourself first, though, first. I'm Glennis. Um, I live in South East Queensland. Um, it's, you know, quite warm here at the moment. Um, Thanks. Thank you for that. No. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. That. Sorry, Darren. <laughs> and okay. I'm the one wearing a suit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm, you know, dressed for the, 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 the um, weather at the moment. So, yep. Okay, so my question is, who, um, sorry, I'll start that again. Who, sorry? Anna? Who, sorry? Okay. <laughs> Lots of people have said sorry over the ages, especially politicians. Mm -hmm. Of so, course. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, go, on, go on, go on. Okay. So, ABBA won the 1974 Eurovision with what song? Ooh. Mmm. <sighs> okay. So, is our time started yet, timekeeper? Uh, uh, time starts now. Lovely Keenan. All right, so I have a few to think about there because obviously uh, Abba's had more than one hit. Uh, and yes. uh, coming through Eurovision, which I didn't really know went that far back, I just thought it was only when Australia got involved in it, that's how uh, <laughs> long you got away. So uh, I was thinking either Waterloo, I don't think it was Dancing Queen, but then I thought it might have been Knowing Me, Knowing You. Oh, interesting. Hmm. All right, Darren. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. I, this is me. Hey. Yes, Darren. What right. did you come up with? Okay. So I actually know the answer to this one. So sorry, Ken, because uh, <laughs> uh, it actually is Waterloo, and see, I yes. even drew a Waterloo there, so that you know. <laughs> Yes, uh, but, uh, as you but, are correct. Yeah, they, um, <laughs> they actually did it in English for, I had to translate the song into English for the uh, for the Eurovision from what I understand. So, yeah. Yes. There were subtitles on the bottom of the stage, was there? Or? Yeah. Well, I think up until that time they had been almost exclusively singing in Spanish. You know, so Ooh. the songs were probably like, it, was, it probably went like, What do you do? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> um, I'll just let you know, my uh, grandparents are from Sweden, so uh, right. yeah, that was a... <laughs> Good translation. <laughs> Mate, with that accent, we must be related. <laughs> you know what they call the Swedish chef in Sweden? The Danish yeah. chef. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, uh, well, that, I guess that brings us to the end of this particular... Uh, round of smokers, which makes it short but sweet. Look, uh, we're going to take a hiatus for one week. Uh, so we just thought we'd throw in this quick episode for you all just to see, uh, to make sure that you all don't go home and cry yourselves. It's only going to be um, away for a week, and then we're going to come back uh, with uh, hopefully some new people. Maybe we'll uh, twist Glennis's arm to uh, to join us for some other episodes. Maybe. 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 <laughs> but what, no matter what else, make sure that you continue to keep watching and submit your own questions and also remember to support your venues we are back at more places now if we're not back in the venue that you want us to be at uh, what about you uh, send us an email and tell us where you are and we'll talk to them uh, also don't forget to support the online quiz uh, you're a nice player of that aren't you there Glennis? Like oh yes I love my online trivia it's lots of fun <sighs> yes so make sure that uh, you join us for that as well. But until then, I've been joined here today with both Glennis and Keenan. Keenan? Did I say Keenan? Keenan? <laughs> and Keenan. You have one job to do. <laughs> one job. <laughs> one job. Yeah. All righty. Like, yeah, like, like my timekeeping. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and and we also did. We also what a great job you did at that. Anyway, uh, see you next time in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, here, 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 here. Here, here, Spartacus. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>